mother, sister, wife, daughter, friend, colleague or partner. We are compassionate and passionate. We are love and fire. We are sweet and sexy. We are feisty and gusty. We are confident and consistent. We can fight and strive. We can make and break. And lastly, we can choose to create. We are women. We have conquered the world and reached heights. We all come from different walks of life. Though we wear a feminine spirit with pride, there is something we always hide. One common thread that binds us all is the struggles of managing our menstrual call. Yes, menstruation is a part and parcel of our lives, but that does not make the pain and discomfort any easier to deal with. We fight many battles every day, but some of us have to fight harder due to menstrual conditions. One such painful condition is endometriosis. Anatomically, endometriosis is a disorder where the endometrial tissue, that is, the lining of the uterus, starts to grow in the pelvic cavity. Some common symptoms are painful periods, painful bowel moments, painful urination, chronic pelvic pain, pain during or after sexual intercourse, fatigue, depression or anxiety, bloating and nausea. Since these symptoms are so common to many feminine disorders that it might take years to diagnose endometriosis. If you have endometriosis or simply have painful periods, the best advice you can get is to reduce stress and achieve mind and body balance. Easier said than done. Have you tried everything and still the discomfort continues? Then my dear, you're in the right place. To help you combat endometriosis and painful periods, we the team of Incense has joined hands with yoga teacher Anjali Sarnani to bring you a set of yoga asanas. I love to fondly call them Vumasanas, a complete step-by-step -step guide to a sound mind and body for women. Do not perform these asanas if you are pregnant or on your period. Roll out your yoga mats and join me to perform the Vumasanas. Let's align our mind and body with Malasan, the garland pose. Malasan aligns body and helps in increasing focus and concentration. This marks the first step in removing the noise from your mind and setting the tone for the course. Malasan helps strengthen and massage the abdominal organs with increased blood flow to the pelvic region. To perform this asana, stand with distance between your feet, take a deep breath, join your hands and slowly go into a squat all the way down with your elbows touching the inside of your knees. This pose will help open up your pelvic region and relax your abdominal muscles. For beginners, you can use a wall for support or a brick to assist you in holding this position. This will ensure you do not unnecessarily stress your spine and knees. Hold this position for 5 seconds. Inhale and slowly transition onto the floor in Padmasan or Sukhasan. Bharatvaj Asan, the twisting pose. This asan realigns your body to relieve pain, fatigue, muscle stress and plays a major role in regulating body functions. To perform this asan, release your Padmasan by folding your left leg inwards. Make sure your right foot is aligned to the pelvis and left thigh. Exhale and twist. Try to hold your right toe with your right hand. Don't fret if this is difficult to achieve. You can simply twist as much as you can. A small variation to assist people who might not be able to sit in Padmasan, you can simply keep the inner foot on the floor. Inhale and release your twist. Repeat the same asana on the other side too. Upavishta Konasana, the wide angle seated forward bent pose. 
Upavishta Konasan helps in relaxing our mind and stretching our body, results in relaxing our spine, legs and simulating our pelvic organs. To perform this asana, stretch your legs one at a time. Now exhale and bend forward to hold your respective toes at the same time and try to touch the floor with your forehead. If you cannot touch your toes, don't worry and just stretch as much as you can. This brings it into a bird-like formation which helps you stretch and relax at the same time. Inhale and straighten your back. Fold your legs together to move into a butterfly pose. Let's lighten ourselves and realign our strength to stay afloat with Nokasan, the boat pose. This looks simple and may feel great but is a difficult asana. It revitalizes endocrine glands like the thyroid and helps in regulating body functions. To perform the asana, join your legs. Pull your legs towards your chest. Lift by holding up under your knees. Now slowly straighten your legs and arms to balance on your buttocks. Hold this for 5 seconds and slowly return to your starting position. Seeing the world upside down to change perspective with Viparit Karni, the wall pose. It might look like a weird way to gain perspective, but trust me, it not only helps with regulating our body functions, but also helps in boosting mental health. To perform this asana, flat on your back, pull your legs towards yourself and lift them. Slowly lift your body up using your arms for a support and straighten your legs. Make sure your elbows are parallel to the ground. Hold this position for 5 seconds. Now slowly pull your legs back towards yourself and get into a fetal pose. This will help you relax. Slowly release the pose and come to your starting position. For people who are just starting with yoga, you can use the wall for support so that you don't stress your body too much. This has the same effects and benefits but reduces the stress on your spine and neck. Always transition slowly and never give your body drastic jerks. We are here to relax and relieve pain, not cause it. Now, let's swim away from tension with Matsyasan, the fish pose. This asana stretches the neck and chest and also rejuvenates the endocrine glands, helping in hormonal balance. To perform this asana, get a Nupanmasana. Lower your back with the help of your elbows. Rest your elbows parallel to the ground to give your back a firm support. Push your elbows down into the ground to ensure there is no pressure on the head or the neck. Now stretch your neck so that you are resting on your head. This will help regulate hormones and relieve tension from your upper body. Hold this position for 5 seconds and then release to completely lie flat on your back. Release your legs and return to a relaxing position. Last but not the least, let's give our body an oxygen rush with Anulom Vilom. Breathing right can actually solve most of our problems. We have a great respiratory system that can help in deep healing if used efficiently. Remember, Anulom Vilom is simply inhaling through one nostril and exhaling through another. To perform this asana, close one of your nostrils with one thumb and breathe in for five counts. Close the other nostril as well with your index finger and exhale for 5 counts. Repeat with each nostril for 5 times.
Now you're completely relaxed and rejuvenated. Before we end the course, always remember yoga is powerful and can help better when it's practiced regularly. Please consult a yoga teacher to get a customized set of asanas that can specifically help you with your unique needs. Don't forget to share these vumasanas with everyone out there so that we all can heal and reap the benefits together. For more such authentic and curated content, subscribe to Incense and hit the bell icon to keep updated.